Hey everyone, Danny here with Bezel. Today we're gonna learn all about colliders, what they are, how to use them, and how they will make your designs even more powerful. So with that, let's dive into it. Okay, as you see here, we have a lot of toys to play with in this scene to really explore the possibilities of colliders. So without further ado, um, let's start talking about the foundations of what a collider is. Now, there are technically two different forms of colliders. There's solid colliders and there's trigger colliders. Right now in bezel, we are currently support trigger colliders. Now, a trigger collider in many ways is the ability for a piece of invisible geometry to tell if something has entered or exited it. To show this as an example, um, as you see right now, I have um, five boxes and the sphere. These rainbow lines represent they have colliders. Now, any object can have a collider on them. So if you want to add a collider, you just have to go here and add as many colliders as you want. So with that said, let's see what this looks like in play mode. As you see right now, when the sphere enters each individual block, they grow and they shrink. Now this is really, really powerful because using colliders in this way shows that you can actually trigger things without having to animate them by hand on a timeline. So that's super powerful. So for instance, um, if I go into this right now, and let's say I want to duplicate this box over here, it already has a collider. We'll look at that in a second. And if I change this to state one, Let's see what happens. As you see right now, it added another collider and it animated properly. Super, super powerful. So with that said, let's take a look at how you can use colliders on uh, XR rigs and let's look at the anatomy of a collider. So we have a hand and we have a box. Basically what I wanna do is when this hand touches this box or a controller touches this box, it will change colors. So how does this work? Well, let's take a look at this right hand here and I'm just gonna remove this collider, but if I add a collider here, change it to a sphere, we're gonna see that the sphere is down by the wrist. Um, if I open up this panel right here, I can you know, change the auto size or I can just keep it to where I want it. Maybe I'm just gonna do auto and then I can change the position. So if I can go from X, Y, and Z. Perfect. Now, if we look at this box right here, as you see, it also has a collider. And inside of it, you can do, again, position, rotation, width, height, depth, or you can even add padding. So for instance, if I type in on the scene millimeters, and if I go back to the box, it's zero millimeters. So for instance, let's say that I have a button that's not quite big enough, but I don't wanna make it visually larger. I can just change this right here and we're adding padding to the collider. This is gonna make a lot more sense when you start using it for UI. So with that done, let's see how I hook this up, shall we? With this cube, I basically created two states. Why don't I just redo all this for us, shall I? The first state is my base state, essentially. And this sedate is red. If I draw this over, what I want to do is I want to come here to pointer down and I'm going to say collider enter. Awesome. And now I want to say self because this thing has a collider with any object, which would be my hand. Now I can even specifically say right hand and that will allow for only my hand to trigger this box. But you can basically have any collider trigger whatever you want, which is really exciting. Now let's draw back. And if I say collider exit and if I basically add the right hand again, so when the hand exits the box, go back to white. So let's see how this looks. Okay, so with our box here, let's see if it turns red when I attach it. Woo, it worked. White, red, white, red, white, red. Now, as you can see, like this is really, really basic, but this is kind of the building block to do way more complex things like hand UI or just you know interacting with the world. So this is super, super powerful. Okay, um, so with that said, let's play with some toys. So as you see right now, that is super, super easy, but also very, very powerful, especially when you get into the details. Next, let's talk about how we could start adding colliders in different ways to objects. And to do that, I have added three toys and a magic wand. So what I wanna do is basically, I wanna put this magic wand in my hand and every time I tap one of these toys, I want something to happen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my rig and I'm gonna take this wand and I'm gonna throw it on my left hand and I'm gonna zero it out. Perfect. Now, depending if you want this on a controller or on a hand, you may wanna change the rotation of this because like right now, this isn't gonna make much sense from a hand perspective, not very ergonomical, 
But if this was, for instance, um, using a controller, it would make a lot more sense. So, you know, for the sake of this, let's just use the controller because it feels more like a magic wand to me. So if you take a look at what we have here on the magic wand, we have a collider, so we can't forget that. And so I want to make sure that this wand is always exposed. So there we go. Next thing, what I want to do is I want to have three different types of colliders for every object. And I want each of these things to do different things. So the first thing we have with this cat is we want it to hover when we tap it. So let's do the traditional way and let's add a collider to it. But before we do that, let's just add a couple of states. And I'm just going to call this first state default. And then I'm going to change this to collider enter. It has no colliders yet. It's fine. And I'm just going to say hover and I'm just going to reattach that. We'll fix that here in a second. And on this base state, what I can do is add a collider and it's going to be a box. Now on hover, I know that I want this to come up here, but if I have a magic wand, for instance, I want this rainbow box to go all the way down while this cat is up in the air because I want my magic wand to go anywhere near it. And if it shot up, it would automatically go down because it would automatically exit. So we're going to need to extend the height of this collider. So no matter where my wand is beneath it, it stays up in the air. So how do we do that? Well, let's make sure that we have our toy one selected. I can go to this box, change this auto layout, and I can start changing the height. So let me change it back to meters. There we go. And then I can even start moving this down on the Y. Perfect. So as you see right now, it will raise. And so we have plenty of room to hit this cat. Perfect. So what I want to do now is I can say collider on any object, but I'm just going to do the wand. And then I'm going to say collider exit. And we will also do the wand. Sweet. So that's good to go. We'll test it out here in a second. Um, let me put it back in its default state. The next thing here we have is a ship. And what I want this ship to do is get really, really large when I get next to it with my wand. So what we can do now is add the size we want it to be. So I basically drag from start to create state one and add in another one um, trigger. So basically I want to do collider enter and don't worry we haven't figured out the collider yet and let's say let's make this large large um small it's fine and so let's just change the scale real quick i think this is good and we can even move it back a little bit so small it's not bad it's a little bit too small still so let me do this Perfect. Now I could add a collider to this in a bunch of different ways, but we're going to try something a little bit more unique. And that is basically creating a empty. So if I go up here to objects and if I create an empty and I can do this and as you see right now, I have, it's called group. So you can, you can either use a quick key or just create an empty. And I'm just going to call this boat trigger and I can add a collider to that. So as you see right now, I can create a collider out of empties. And this is super, super powerful, especially when you want to make compound colliders, but we're not going to talk about compound colliders today. So with this ship selected, I am just going to say, I want this to go when boat trigger enters any other object. I can even go to wand. So basically I want this to expand when the wand enters this little area down here. And, you know, I may even do this as well and like reverse it, but maybe I want to reverse it on collider enter as well. So I can make it huge by tap and then I can make it small with another tap. So that's super easy. And I'm just going to leave this on any object with collider for now. I think that's going to be fine. Cool. Okay, so for the final toy, I wanted to do something a little bit more advanced. And while it's a little bit crazy, I think you can handle it. Okay, so for this one, we're going to start off by selecting toy three right here. And we're just going to add a classic collider to it. And we're also going to add a behavior to it. Now, inside of this behavior, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this little section up here. It says toy three and target. So let's go back here. And I'm going to grab this target and this behavior and follow and I am going to attach it to this red square. And as you see right now, it disappears because you know we have preview on. And if I make it zero, now it's back. Now what I wanna do is when the magic wand touches this really cool blaster, I want it to teleport over here. So how are we gonna do that? Well, it's actually quite simple. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna drag from start. I'm gonna create a brand new state. 
and I'm just gonna call this default. And then I'm gonna drag over and I'm just gonna call this teleport. Now as you see, they're both connected. And with teleport, I'm gonna grab this target and I'm gonna hit this red one right here. So as you see, it's gonna go back and forth. So it's gonna go from here to here. Now, as you see, it's moving really, really fast, but you know, it's not teleporting, it's not popping in. So what I can do is that I can change these both to zero. So do this. So that one's zero, this one's zero, or you can even go to base and change the zero and it should change everything. So let's make sure that this is just zero right here. Perfect, so zero, zero. As you see, it's teleporting. Woo! So with this selected, we need to figure out how to get it back. So what we can do is just drag this teleport back to default, and then I am gonna switch this to Collider Enter. Now, I'm gonna wanna tap this stage for it to come back. So in order for me to do that, I can say, instead of self, I can do stage, and I can also do wand. So essentially, when, the stage is tapped by the wand and it enters it, bring it back. Awesome, so now with all of this set, let's actually start testing this and see how it works. So now I have my magic wand here. It does feel like a magic wand, doesn't it? Okay, let's play with the cat real quick. Hover in, he's floating as you see right now. I am still inside of the collider. So when I go out, perfect. If I go under here, you can see he's still gonna go up. <laughs> cool. Um, now let's see if the ship will grow. It does. Awesome, bring it back down. And now it's time to play with the teleporting ray gun. Boop, boop, boop. Now, all of this stuff is a little bit janky because we didn't spend that much time doing a lot of complex animations. But as you can see, with all of these tools and all these different forms of trigger colliders, you can do all kinds of interesting and cool things. Okay, let's jump out and debrief. Okay, so I hope all this was helpful for you. There's so many complexities and crazy things you can build with colliders. And over time, our products is gonna get more and more sophisticated and powerful. Um, and I'm so excited to add some new features like direct touch and all this stuff into our product. So if you build anything cool with colliders, I would love to see your work. So just please upload it to the Discord channel linked down below. Um, and until next time, everyone, take care and plus minus.